Good morning, everyone. This is Fashion Illustration 1. My name is Karen Garrett. I'm going to teach you how to draw croquis figures. We finally made it. This is Module 6, and you've done so much. You're halfway. So this is going to be a wonderful, wonderful experience, and I want you to get started immediately um, so that you can get them all done. All right. So you've done heads, hair, ears, eyes, faces, you know, scarves, jewelry, um, hands, feet, shoes, and all of that. And so now at this point, you're going to get to put it all together and have a beautiful croquis figure that we're going to learn how to dress and then color and, oh, it's so exciting. So here's what you're going to need. Six pieces of plain old computer paper. Pencil, eraser, ruler okay so get all of that and come back all right so now when you do a croquis figure it is all about measurements so we're going to measure out one piece of paper and then you're going to copy that on the rest of the five okay so that you can save time i say don't trace but this time trace because it's going to take a lot of time um okay or it doesn't have to so I'm going to step back and I'm going to show you the measurements of the body. Okay, so here's your head. This is zero. This is one. That's a measurement. That's why we started with heads because the entire body is nine heads. Okay, everything goes with the head. So that's why when I said if you start at this line and you go to this line and you can't go above it or below it, it has to be right there in the middle. That's one head length, okay? So chins have to go to the one, top of the head has to be at zero. Okay, now watch what happens. If I measure my head, okay, here's my head. So there to there is one measurement, okay? Ding, that's it. So that's one head. This is everybody, okay? You put your chin here and you go to there and it's like, oh my gosh, it's right in the center of my chest. But not only that, look, it goes right to the end of my deltoid. So boom, 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 deltoid on that side too. Okay, so now we're going to go from here, the center of my chest, to there. Oh my gosh, the middle of my waist. See? Ding. All right, so that's the middle of my waist. So this is zero. This is one. Give me another head length. This is two. Give me another head length. To the waist, it's three. Now I'll watch this. Your elbows are right there at your waist. How long have you been yourself and you didn't even know that? I didn't even know that. Okay, so now, watch. Put your hands down like this. So here's my waist, I go there. Oh my gosh, it's my crotch. But guess what else? Wrists. Zero, one, two, three, four, okay? Now, everything from there on down, we make longer because that's what the croquis figure does. Croquis is a sketch figure, and it's just to make it look, the clothes look better, okay? It's basically a human hanger, okay? So what we're going to do is make those measurements, and I'll just tell you what they are. Okay, so thighs are five, knee bottom is six, fat of your calf is seven, Ankle is eight, tip of your toes is nine. Okay? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> I feel like I'm in ballet class. Okay, that was fun. So now, you understand you must make every measurement exactly one head length. Now, your head can be a half inch, can be an inch. It could be the size of a skyscraper. It doesn't matter. All nine have to be whatever the head is. Whatever you decide the head is, all nine have to be that. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to set up our measurements and then we're gonna start drawing people. Okay, so I'm going to now change the camera 
you're going to get your six papers, all of the stuff, get ready. And if you need to watch the uh, module one about learning the ruler one more time, please do that. Some people are from Europe, you know, things are different everywhere. So just don't feel bad. Learn the ruler and then come right back. Okay. Hopefully you already know. I'm going to uh, move my computer. I'm thinking that I'm, <laughs> I'm afraid to pause it, but let's, let's try it. Okay. Okay, come from the top of the paper, this has to be straight, you can look through this wonderful ruler that I love, from the edge to here is half inch, or you can measure it the other way, but you're going to hold your hand, make it straight, that's a half inch. Okay, then I want you to put zero. Okay, you're going to go down nine sixteenths, all you have to do is count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's one past the half. Okay, make a, make a mark. Make another mark at nine sixteenths. Draw that. Nine sixteenths. Okay. And I want you to put half. Okay. Then you're going to go down from this zero line, one and an eighth. So one and an eighth, make a mark from the zero line, not from the half, from the zero. One and an eighth. Draw the line. Make it straight. Okay, that's your one line. Okay, so now from the one line, you're going to go one and an eighth down to nine. So I'm going to measure one and an eighth, one and an eighth, one and an eighth, one and an eighth. Okay, I'm just going to keep doing this. This video might seem like it's long, but I'm going to go through every step with you. So now if you want to pause, or if you want to um, just turn it off or spin ahead, you know, and get this done, that's fine with me, but I'm gonna keep it going so that you can understand what I'm doing. You're gonna be doing exactly what I'm doing. And this is gonna be a wonderful experience for you. You wanted to be a fashion designer and now you get to do all this wonderful stuff. Just think about it. You're gonna create for the world I don't know how many billions of people there are that live on the planet, but they all need clothes of some sort. And you can be the one that designs them, or jewelry, or shoes, or stuff. We need lots of stuff. We need creative people with good taste. So you're going to get all your lines. Okay. All right. So now you're going to do the numbers. That's zero, half, and then one. And you're going to do two, three. Four, uh, five. I have to do this upside down. So sometimes I'm like, uh, okay, six, seven, eight, and ta da, nine. All right, so I want you to go ahead and do that. And then at this point, what you're going to do is you're going to write on the line what I write. Okay, so this is going to say top top of the head okay I'm going to pause here. I said I wasn't going to but I'm going to pause. I'm going to write all the words and then you can um, just stop the video on it and uh, write them yourself. Hold on
Okay, so go ahead and let me make sure this is okay. So go ahead and write these wor oh, words on the uh, left side of your paper. Top head is zero. This that means the line. This line at half is the top of the ears. Remember and the eyes. One. This is a head length. This is your whole head right here. Zero to one. That's your chin. And that's the top of your head. Number two. Remember is the chest and the deltoid muscle. The third head length is right there on that line is where the waist starts and the elbows. I showed you that. Add a little line about a fourth of the way down. That's your belly button. So from the three to the four right here, wrist to crotch and crotch. Right here, thighs. Another head length right to here is knee bottom. Right here, the bat of the calf. Right here, ankles. I did not say cankles, I said ankles. Make sure they look cute. And then somewhere, it's usually around eight, eight and uh, three fourths. It's not necessarily all the way to nine. I try to go for the eight and three fourths, but this is the better way to just know, okay, that's where it ends, okay? Make sure you do this right. And when you've gotten that done, what I want you to do, if you have a copy machine, go ahead and copy this on, on all of these papers that you have. You're gonna use two of them for next week and you're going to use four of them for this week. So that way you don't ever have to do this again. Just do that. And and if you do not have a copy machine, no problem. I didn't either. You just put this in a window on top of it. Tape it. Go stand in the window and take your ruler. You can see through it. And then just draw your lines real fast. Okay. And write all the numbers and all the words on all of that. So all of these six pages are going to have that. Okay. Now, like I said, I'm not into wasting time. I just want to, you to know what you're doing. So you have to do this once so that you write it down. You know all the lengths are the same and equal. All right, now let's get started. Okay, so like I said, the, okay, up first, we need to do uh, center lines. So on two of the sheets, two, you're going to, Come over three inches from the left side. So one, two, three, make a mark. One, two, three, make a mark. And then you're going to come over again. Three, make a mark. You're going to come over three again and make a mark. So that's for two sheets. I'm going to do that like that. Draw it from the top to the bottom. Okay. So that was three and three. And then right here on these lines, I want you to write center line. You need to do that on all of them. Okay. No, I'm oh, sorry. You don't need to do them on all of them. You need to do it on two sheets do this center lines. All of the sheets are going to have this. Only two of the sheets are going to have this, okay? This is right now. Okay, so at this point, you're going to see this girl on the computer. So this is going to be sheet J. See how we have the center line here? That's her. And the center line here? That's her. Okay, and and see how I've marked at the top of the head, top of the, top of the ears and the eyes, chin. See what I'm saying? Same stuff. Okay, see one, two, three, four, all that. Okay, so you've basically created yourself a graph. It's not the same sizes, but it, like I said, it doesn't matter. Whatever you make your head length, all the lengths have to be the same. Okay, now this is a female croquis. This is going to be sheet J. So on your page, you put. J, so let's put it over here. Okay, so that's going to be sheet J. Your other sheet that looks just like this one, you're going to also add for it, it's going to be guys. See, same deal, same deal. So you're going to make the second sheet, sheet K. All right. I only have, I've already done my homework, but I'm just showing you. So one is going to be J, 
and one is going to be K, and they're going to look just like this. Okay. Something needs to happen with this. Whoa. <laughs> My stuff is moving. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm making sure you can see. Oh, I need to pull it back some. There we go. All right. Okay. Okay. So, I'm going to start with the girls. Okay. Now. First thing that you're going to start with is the head. So you know how to do the square, do the X, do the circle, widen it out, do the little bird bowl, or if you're good at it, just don't make them pizza head, you know, or smiley face head or anything like that. You're going to start on both sheets, J and K. You can stop this right after I do it and do it yourself because you're going to stick with me, okay? You're going to do an egg. It has to start at zero, it has to end at one. Do not go below, do not go above, do not end here, do not end there. It's zero to one, okay? That's why you have your numbers, because we get lost in the body if we if we don't have our numbers. So, um, zero to one. Go ahead and do that on both of your sheets. If you need to stop it, that's fine. But you're going to have two sheets that look exactly like that. Okay. So now at this point, you're going to do exactly what we already know. Half of the half is the nose, half of the half of the half is the mouth. You did lots of heads, you were very good at it. So we're gonna go ahead and finish those heads out. And one third, one third, on both sheets J and K, get that done. And so at this point, you're gonna do your ear. It's bigger at the top, it's a little at the bottom. This is stuff we've done. You're very comfortable with it. Don't feel bad about it. That ear was a little too skinny for the other one. But anyway, you don't have a na you don't have a um, line between your ear and your head. All right. So get that done. Yes, it's a backward head, but just get that where you know it is on J and K, and then come back. So we're going to start with J. And I'm going to move my paper over here. I've already started with J. Okay, here we here we have it. So you're going to notice on the computer in Brightspace that I took this croaky figure, I drew the lines, I did, the numbers were here, did the uh, words, keep the words, and then I started doing circles. You can do this. We're going to learn to do this also in um, advanced. A fashion illustration where you actually get a magazine picture with a, a real model and you can just it's exactly like this you do the lines you do the words you do the numbers and and you never get away from that you just that's just what you do you're going to draw the deltoid remember it ends at the two so it's an oval from the top of the shoulder down to here so I'm going to look at it and I'm going to say okay the shoulders are at one and a half remember the girls at one and a half guys are higher but we're going to draw our one and a, do this with me the half line, so between one and two, do your half lines. And then, see how I, I did all of my ovals? Okay, follow along exactly like I do this. Draw your half line. Okay, there it is. Draw your deltoid. It hits that two line. I drew it and erased it so that, because I'm having to do this upside down. But you're going to look and say, okay, that's about right. Because if you put it out here, you know, she would be too wide. If you, if you put it in here, she'd be too skinny. You have to make the decision where to put the circles. From the shoulder and the deltoids, you're going to go down to the waist. That's number three, waist and elbows. So that, remember, the waist is just a little bit bigger than the head, like one and a half-ish. So you can come down from the edge of the head, not the ears. And I want you to do what I call backward C's. They're not actually a C that's a real sharp C, but it's the skinny part of your waist, okay? So at that point, from the waist, which is a little bit bigger than your head, the shoulders have to be bigger than the waist for a girl, but the shoulder points right here, at the top of the shoulder, that's where the hips are gonna be. So make a mark. See how I made marks? So I came down, there you go, make some marks. You know that that's going to be the crotch area, so you're going to go ahead and do that. A little bird bowl right there. 
Okay, so you've done the, the shoulder line, the deltoid, the C's, the crotch and the waist, I mean hips. Okay, now you're going to look at the legs. I always draw a straight line through from the knee. I connect the knee to the calf to the ankle, knee, calf, ankle, so that they stay in a straight line. Because I have seen people draw um, legs, and the legs, like here's your knee, and then they'll put the calf over here, and the ankle over there, and the toes are down here, and then they start to put it together, and it looks something like a broken leg, okay? So you don't want that. You want it straight. Now, when you draw the straight line, this is starting from the middle of the cat, uh, knee, but see the legs kind of go out and in a little bit. So I do that so that I can say, okay, here's my center line. There's my center line. I need to draw a parallel straight line about a quarter of an inch away. So I, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I already did it. Get that done. And now I look and see where are my ovals. Okay, this one's pretty well centered. It does not touch the center line. It does touch the six. So here's my six. Here's my center line. It doesn't touch there. It does touch there. It's a vertical oval. Great. I'm going to look at this one. Same thing. It does not touch the center line. It does touch the six. It kind of goes to about half there. So here's my half mark. Doesn't touch the center line. Does touch the six. Ta-da. And you're going to go, okay, so here's the fat of my calf. It should be around seven, but this croaky wasn't like that. It's okay. I'm just going to go ahead and go with it. The calf has to be wider and bigger than the knee. It's the widest place of your leg, but not, not crazy wide, okay? The smallest part of your leg is your ankles. Should be on eight, but this croaky didn't have that. So we're just going to go with that right now. A lot of them are going to, you know, change. And you're going to say, okay, this one touches the line, this one touches the line, it's a little circle, it's a little circle, none of them touch the center line. Okay, we're good. All right. All right, you know what to do with feet, you might as well just go ahead and do it. I already have it. You know what I'm saying, like, you know the rules on feet. One, two, you did a great job on that and with shoes. So, we're going to go ahead and get our feet done. Okay. And that's great. Da, 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 da. We're good. Okay, so now you have that. Now we're going to come back right back up here. So remember, shoulders, deltoids, waist, crotch, hips, the same as the shoulders. You're going to draw your two lines. You're going to do your ovals for your legs, finish your feet out, and now you're going to come back up and say, okay, where's my elbows? Well, they're not touching the body. They're outside the waist. So here you go. It's right there on the three line, which is where my elbows are, right? And then here, this is a little bit higher. And you're going to go down to the wrists. Wrist and crotch is around there. Should be right on the line, but like I said, this croaky is a little different, and it's okay. All right, so there you go. You know how to do hands. Let's go ahead and finish that out because you're not afraid of that anymore. It's just a machine. You're just a machine drawing a croaky. That's it. Okay, just do that, and you've already done all that the, uh, practice on this part, so you are not afraid of it. There you go. Okay, so now that's so wonderful. You've done a great job. You know how to do the neck, skinny and straight, and it goes down and over to the deltoid, I mean to the top of the deltoid. Okay, and now you've done all the hard work. All you have to do is put it together now. Okay, this is so simple. I want you to just know that this is super simple. Okay, deltoid comes in, comes out a little bit to the uh, wrist, I mean to the elbow. This part of your arm is the fattest of the lower arm. Think of a bat. It goes straight, curve, straight. Okay, so think straight up, curve around, straight down. Okay, so think like that and you'll have a little bat. It's bigger up here and littler down there. And then just a straight line. Do it again. Round the deltoid in. A little bit out for the bicep to the outside of that um, circle. Here you go, the bat. Boom. Circle around, bat. Skinnier at the wrist. Straight line. Can you believe that? You did that. Okay, so now you're just going straight up to that point. 
for the chest, for the torso I mean. And now here's the chest part. Don't touch in the middle here, but you do need to make circles. You know how to make circles. You can either make a square or just fiddle with it, but you're gonna make circles that do not touch in the middle and they almost touch the edge, okay? And then you're gonna do centered right there. And at that point, you just erase the top of the chest. And tenor, okay, belly button, three and a fourth, right there. Okay, and now we're gonna just put this all together too. You just go from here, you round out to the hip. The thigh keeps rounding out skinnier to the edge there, to the edge there. Inside, because you remember you have an ankle, you already know that. We've already done that, simple. Okay, let's do, the, let's do it again on this side. Hip, keep rounding it out. Outside the oval, outside the oval, inside the oval circle there, and you got the feet already done. So here you go. Inside to the edge there, round around it, again, and around around it. Okay, simple. Okay, you just, there, you're done. Okay, so we will finish the face. I want you to finish the faces and that's there you go so let's do this one now this is the back side super simple you've already looked at look what do we do head ears divided it up we'll do that in a minute the back okay neck go ahead and do your neck with this shoulder top line you've already got your deltoids remember we did the deltoids and then we went a little wider than the head to the backward C's Purple crotch, hips, and then we start looking at the deltoid. Where, where is it from here? It touches that line, which is what number? Two. So you go boom, two. It touches. That's about as wide as I want it. That's a great angle. Okay, this one, a little, little below the what number? Three. So you go three and you go, oh, it's a little below there, it's a little below there. See? Okay, so then you keep going down and it's not hitting the hips. So you do a little circle, a little circle keep going down you say up oh, I gotta draw my lines I gotta figure out where where those three circles are I'm gonna go ahead and finish my feet and then we just draw it all together and there you have it and finish your hands so that is how you do a croaky figure and so at this point this is going to be sheet J finish finish her going to do okay all right so we're doing the same exact thing but this is a guy and there's just a little bitty bit of difference okay so I want you to put four and a fourth like we did with the belly button four and a fourth is a crotch for a guy Okay, so remember we added this for the belly button for a girl, and then we just had the crotch at four. Guys is a little lower, see? So you're gonna have, so add that line real quick on the same uh, sheet, okay. All right, so now, here we go again. You've got the egg, you already did those, and you know how to turn it into a guy. You do the angles. You widen the head above the ears. And you know how to finish the face. You know that the neck comes out wider. Okay, so you've got that. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to do we're going to do the same program. Okay, go to like one and a third. See, there's one. Go one and a third. Draw your shoulder lines. And then you're going to say, okay, this deltoid goes below the line. And it's, I want him to be this big. If he's too narrow, he'll look weird. If he's too wide, he'll look weird. That's about right. So you start doing your ovals. So there's one. And you go, okay, here we go. There's my center line. I need to do my oval there. Okay, so you're going to get those. Same deal with the lines here. And there's ovals, calves, all of that. And for the waist for a guy, though, it's, it's wider than a girl. So it's... You're going to have to make it 
play with it a little bit. And you're going to have love handles. So you know how we had the backward C's for the girls? We're going to have love handles for the guy. So and at this point, you're going to go ahead and bring down his torso. And you're going to give him some love handles instead of backward C's. There's his hips. Okay. His hips are not as wide as his shoulders. Girls, yes. Boys, no. So it's a little bit thinner. So you're going to come in a little bit. Okay. So there we go. There we go. And you're going to say, all right. So why don't we finish? We already did all that. You know what to do with feet. So go ahead and finish. Might as well finish your feet off right here. So a flat foot for a guy ends at eight and a half. And so that's what you're going to do. You're going to finish your feet out. Uh, you can, let's go ahead and start up here. So you're going to go in here, going to roll around, deltoid into the two, bicep out, straight line. Remember the bat. And the guys are a little bit bigger usually and more angular, but just get it, get it in there first. Okay, you're done. Now you just keep on going with your feet. I mean, with, sorry, <laughs> hands. So finish out your hands. Finish out this side too. See, and roll around the deltoid. Go outside there. Straight line. Don't take your straight line up here. It, it would be too skinny. And then roll around it. Nicely done. Do your hands. Crotch. It's not a bird bowl. It's more of a U or a, a little basket. Okay, there we go. And I think I'm a little off center here. So, I'll bring that one in and bring me get them centered. Okay, I think that's better. Okay, so now again, eh, went too far out. Okay, inside the ankle, and then you've got the foot. Same deal here, knee, outside the calf, inside the ankle, roll around it, make the foot. And now for the inside here, his legs are closer together. So, you know, it's kind of like, okay, well, and then just a little bit inside here. Because he's mostly on the center line. We'll go ahead and come in just because they did. And we'll come in a little here just to give it some space. All right. So chest, so don't do circles for guys. Um, girls are, I mean guys are um, angled. So do like that. Don't touch the edges, just kind of make them wide. This, and that's the center of the chest. And you're gonna need a really nice um, clavicle and um, Adam's apple, okay? Belly button. Uh, right here, three and a quarter. You're gonna have your your uh, pelvic bones, and you can go ahead and do the finish out the chest if you want to. But we're gonna be covering him up with uh, clothes. So you're gonna. That's it. That's it. All right. So those two pages are done, and with the back, you can. It's easy. Same deal. Okay. Now, so with the two the two of the sheets that were um, measured but did not have these center lines I want you to go ahead and get those and what we're going to do is set it up for um, doing three figures so let me pause okay so on the two other sheets that we're going to use for today you're going to go over it's the same one and an eighth sections same words same numbers and then you're going to come from the the left edge over two and a quarter make your center line you're going to go from here two and a half over center line two and a half over and i want you to put center line on all of them okay and you're going to do three heads from the zero to the one, remember, not below, not above, not inside here somewhere. It has to be zero to one. 
for girls or guys. Okay, so once you're all set up with that, you are going to do exactly what we just did with the, the two guys and the two girls. And so let's see, this is gonna be the sheet that you're gonna be looking at. And this is what you're gonna wind up with, except you're gonna finish out all, you know, the feet and all of that stuff in the hands. I just have, I will have that done. So go ahead and look at this one and draw them. You know, you know the process, okay? So that is going to be sheet L. And lastly, you're going to do sheet M, okay? So that's for your three guys. And um, what we're going to do with these is we're going to be able to use these from now on like a cartoon that you put a piece of paper over, a uh, marker paper over, and then you can dress them so you don't have to draw them again. And what will happen in your life is you're going to wind up with a whole bunch of croquis that you use that you don't have to draw anymore. Okay, so that's a good idea. Um, these are very stiff figures, and so next week we are going to uh, learn how to do moving figures, and then at that point you won't have to draw any more figures. So just You'll, you'll get really fast at it too. So let me show you what's due. Okay, so those two sheets and these two sheets. Okay, so this is what is going to be due J, K, L, and M. All right, so five guys, five girls. There you go. Okay, I'm going to stop this. I have one more message to tell you that's important. Okay, so have fun doing that. And, you know, the way I would do it, if I were you, is, uh, well, the way I did it for me was I did two, I did all the um, measurements, got them all done. Put the heads in there, get all the way across. Then I uh, did all the ovals, and the tops of the shoulders, do your feet and hands, uh, and then two per day. You know what I mean? Two per day, and you're done in five days. Okay, so, and in, you're going to use them again to dress. Okay, so here we go. We got a notice from the school because some people did not know how to get their feedback. And I spend like five or six hours every Monday doing feedback. So please get your feedback. Okay, here's what she says. Students viewing assignment or submissions audio and video feedback must view through tools, submissions, and then click on the assignment. Okay. It is, the feedback is not visible through your grades. Okay, you have to go tools, submissions, click on the assignment um, so they've asked us to let you know that that you, you can to confirm that you can actually see your feedback now if you have not gotten my feedback and you just went oh what she gave me feedback for five weeks then let me know and I'll let you work on it a little longer okay um, Okay, so it says, encourage your students to discover the AI Learning Network, A-I-L-N, a place for students to maximize their potential through virtual educational resources, including tutoring services. Ah, oh, yay. Okay, and it has a link, https dot backslash backslash www.youtube.com backslash watch question mark little v equals big v little k little x five dash big i little v eight little z little r big o okay so um, i hope you will use that and i hope you have a wonderful week